if you want to know how to get your hair from this to this, keep on watching. <laughs> but this channel is dnail.j j stands for my second name thought it sounded nice i just went with it um today i'm going to be talking about something that has been asked for for quite some time now um i don't really have i mean i have reasons why i haven't really filmed it yet but anyways um i'm gonna be doing an intro it's quite a lengthy intro so if you do want to skip ahead I don't blame you for me. You want to get straight into the content. I will put a timestamp like right here. That you can skip to where I start talking about um, everything that this video is centered around. Oh yeah, I have a notebook here with like a whole bunch of things that I'm going to be talking about in the video, just so I don't leave anything out. Um, people do have demands, and I'm here to deliver. Okay, so a couple of weeks ago. Like while I was still writing my finals, my final papers, I um, posted this Instagram post on the story thing. You know the story thing? Yeah, I posted that. And it was about natural hair questions that anyone of my followers or anyone that's just passing by might have. And I am going to be answering all of those in this video. Oh yeah, a disclaimer real quick. Everything that's going to be said in this video is of my own opinion. And it's based on the knowledge I've gathered with the years that I've been natural. So if what I say does differ from someone else with natural hair, you know, that's totally okay. It's just, this is my video and it's what I have been doing or what I have to say about the certain things that I'm going to be talking about here. In total, I think there are about 20, 21 questions. Uh, while I'm talking about the questions, I am going to put them up next to me so you can see them. Um, but yeah, okay, okay. Okay, the first question is things you should not put on your hair while styling. Now, um, like I said, this is my own personal opinion because I don't think there are things that everyone should not put on their hair while styling. Are they? I don't think they are. I don't think they are. Um, but for me, as of recently, maybe like the past year and a couple of months, I haven't been using gel. Um, I used to use gel to style my hair when I did like puffs. Um, either it's like a high puff, back puff, two puffs, just about any style, I used to use gel. But then I found that it dried up my hair. And since I only wash my hair like once a week, um, I found that like my hair was just dry, it was matted. There wasn't much I could really do with my hair in terms of like styling it and stuff. So I was like, okay, let me cut off um, gel and I've been fine. So that's something I don't use when styling my hair. Um, but I do know of girls' natural hair and guys' natural hair that do use gel, and their hair is perfectly fine. It's just a personal preference of mine. Number two, question number two, not a question, but I'm obsessed with your hair. Thank you, thank you, I really do appreciate it. Whenever people do compliment my hair, like it really does mean a lot, like thank you so much. Um, I really do appreciate it. Question number three, what products do you use? Now, I will say this is a question that was asked a lot, either in person, over different social media platforms, even on this poll that I posted on Instagram. A lot of people asked, what products do I use? So this is going to be quite a lengthy answer because it's not just like five products, you know? And I'm also going to be telling you guys like um, what I used personally and what I recommend to you. So, for oils, my favorite oil for my hair, despite the bashing it received from the natural hair community child, I don't know, but I love coconut oil. Oh, I love that stuff for your skin, for your hair, cooking with it, it's amazing. Um, I got a tub, I'm gonna insert a picture here. I got a tub, a one liter tub, and that lost me quite a while, cause you don't use a lot of oil on your hair. Okay, black people, people of color, um, our hair, naturally has oil. So yeah, coconut oil, Jamaican black castor oil, oh my gosh. Jamaican black castor oil is amazing. It might not smell the best, but it feels 
amazing on your hair it does amazing things on your hair trust me like child don't get me started and, and a little bit goes a long way a virgin olive oil jojoba oil tea tree oil these are all oils like there's probably a whole lot more that you can use but these are the one two three four these are the five oils that i used and they worked they worked great they worked i mean you know oh yeah and then all the products that i'm talking about can be found in either Dischem or clicks from my south african mensa you can find it in Dischem or clicks um they're all for the most part they won't hurt the bank like they're all easy on your pocket nothing here is more than 200 like each product nothing here is more than 200 so yeah and then okay now that that was oils now we're going into leave-ins now for leave-ins i used three i'm going to recommend in this video three different leave-ins you see guys the thing with being natural né, and going natural is that you what works for me might not work for you what works for you might not work for the next person so when you do go natural or you are natural you find that you have to like try out different products and like see what works for you hey that's what i had to do um thank you mommy for sponsoring all the products that i used guys being natural is expensive i'm sorry let me just disclaimer it's expensive it's expensive but uh it's worth it i mean i there's not a day that goes by that i regret going natural i love my natural hair um, but yeah sorry leave-ins three products i'm going to be recommending here one's from cantu one's from um aunt jackie and the other is from soft and free soft and free soft and free soft and free soft okay so cantu right here cantu it's good it's a nice product um i just find myself that using it really during the winter because i don't feel like it moisturizes my hair as much as i needed to so yeah but it smells amazing it's nice and thick um yeah it's, 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 a, it's a really good product it's more on the expensive side though unlike aunt jackie and soft and free i will say and then for aunt jackie they should sponsor me the amount of customers i've probably sent their way hmm. they should definitely sponsor me but anyways i think if you're watching this you know a girl would like to collab with you you know what i'm saying um but yeah on jackie on jackie i used their entire okay, not the entire hairline hair range but i did use quite a bit of products from them i've every anyone that's asked me what i use for my hair i say can to an aunt jackie and i go so yeah and then oh uh, as of recently like i've used it twice now and my hair loves it soft and free this specific product right here it's amazing like i use that in an oil on one of my wash days on this wash day actually on this wash day i used it and my hair was so moisturized it was fluffy it was soft it was giving it was giving what it was supposed to give and girl i am happy okay and then for shampoo oh yeah for all these products are all i'm sorry if this video is all over the place it's because it's my first video and um i have verbal diarrhea if you don't know what that means like i talk i can talk Ooh, cha, i can talk but yeah all the products are paraben and uh, sulfate free because i do have a shampoo i have like one shampoo that i use when i'm trying to strip my hair of all its oils and if you guys want a video on like um the ingredients about like um hair products different hair products kind of like do's and don'ts of natural hair in general and also about products let me know it can be in dms in person in the comment section just let me know then i can definitely film a video about that so for shampoo once again on jackie it's amazing okay it's got scent um cantu also it's a very nice shampoo doesn't strip my hair and on jackie on jackie's on jackie's shampoo makes my hair feel very soft i find it makes my hair feel very very soft and moisturized and then um the last two shampoos that i recommend are organics which i used in the early days of my natural hair i wouldn't use it now just because i i found on jackie so i wouldn't use it now and then l'oreal l'oreal this one also a very nice shampoo i also like it a lot but out of all the shampoos i definitely recommend on jackie 
the most for shampoo they have it on lockdown shem they know what they're doing they do they do and then for conditioner now i will say i'm guilty i'm not really conditioning my hair which is bad because i have 4c hair i'm supposed to be conditioning it like on a regular deep conditioning it conditioning it but that's because i use leave-in conditioners so i substitute conditioner for leave-in i should be doing both because my hair needs the moisture and i probably will get on my my game now um since i do plan on posting more natural hair content but yeah so for conditioners in the beginning i did use l'oreal the l'oreal conditioner and also organics i wouldn't use it now but i did use it before so l'oreal is a very nice very nice conditioner um and then now um products that i incorporate into my daily natural hairism daily natural hair care thank you Dinelle. you you understood the assignment girl i mean like yeah let's finish the video okay my tongue my hands a lot I feel like i'm tongue my hands a lot it's fine yeah i got my nails done so i told like this now should i stop nah okay what did i eat i didn't have any sugar did I, I didn't have sugar today that's my best friend's phone sorry <clears throat> yeah okay uh i hope this thing is still recording it is still recording i have to make sure your child if you knew guys i would have had two videos up by now um so now for over overall hair care um i have six products to recommend now y'all will thank me for these six products because they will help you trust me they will so you need a satin bonnet please get a satin bonnet or a satin scarf please this one more so get yourself a hair detangler or a tangle teaser they're both hair detanglers one is called a tangle teaser and then one is a, you know just just get one of the two that was on the screen um and then for hair ties um i use hair ties when i'm styling my hair because i like to switch it up um but yeah hair ties has some bonnets has some scarf an afro pick i use an afro pick uh when um after wash day after i'm done um with my braid out and my hair is like stretched out i never comb my hair out when it's dry never you'll never catch me with my afro comb no because that's a recipe for split ends at least for me because i used to do it and i always had split ends and i had to cut a whole bunch of my hair off so now I know better and I'm advising you guys, don't comb your hair out when it's dry. Spray water, use product, you'll thank me later. And then in terms of products, when I feel like I want to treat my hair, I did this more in the early stages. My hair was a lot shorter because now I feel like it's, it's a job, but I will get on it again. Hot oil treatments. I did this recently, maybe like two months ago. A hot oil treatment and um, aloe vera treatment. You know the aloe plant? This one? It's It has what? Protein. It's a protein treatment. So protein treatments, hot oil treatments. Very nice. Very good. Awesome. Amazing. Okay, moving on. So that was, that was products. We covered products. All found in this came in clicks. So now question four. Uh, how, what products do you use? I just spoke about that. Like I said, it was asked a lot. So just, you know, if you didn't get everything, just go over that clip, that small section there. Um, how often do you trim your ends? Hmm. So I do trim my own hair. I bought myself hair shears. I didn't bring them here, um, but I can insert a picture of hair shears they're a lot sharper than your normal scissors that you use like to cut paper or stuff so get yourself a pair of um hair scissors hair shears and i cut my hair i wouldn't say i cut it like every like every four months every five months um i cut it when i feel my well in the beginning i used to cut it like what every five months i used to give myself a trim um but now i cut my hair Whenever I feel like I can see, like mm -mm, my braid outs aren't coming out the right way or the way they used to, my twist outs aren't twisting the way they used, like you know, like because when you twist your hair, you know when you, do you know when like you you you, you curl the ends and goes, 
yeah if i see it's not doing that i take the shears like, i don't even hesitate because health over length any day it won't get to me anything hmm. you rather have long hair than healthy hair girl you will be bald you'll be bald you help oh, why is my hair not growing because you're not cutting it you're not giving it a trim you're wondering why it's not growing ah i beg and then thickening tips so like how to thicken your hair so guys i must say genetics does play a huge role overall in your hair hair porosity hair type curl pattern the whole 910 it does play a huge part i have nigerian i have south african let's combine and then you get me so um i'm a very hairy person just like naturally like i have hair everywhere my legs my arms i'm just hairy uh so and my eyebrows before i cut them <laughs> they're pretty bushy so yeah i'm just naturally i have naturally thick dark hair um but you can thicken your hair through products you definitely can uh use the oils so jamaican black castor oil will really help you coconut oil will also help you and tea tree oil will stimulate growth as well those three oils i'll recommend those question six do you blow dry your hair i do blow dry my hair uh but only as a okay no so in the early ages back in the day i did not blow dry my hair at all not even to get protective styles i did not blow, i'm like mm -mm, i'm not blow drying my hair because i want to be 100 natural i want to be natural gal no hair on this hair hmm? no hair huh no heat on this hair i was like yeah i was like no i'm not gonna i'm not gonna like blow dry my hair because i had i had relaxed hair before like no i'm not gonna do that but now i blow dry it when i when i'm about to get a protective style and like if i want to and i say if i want to because i blew out my hair i did a pageant i blew out my hair for that occasion and then i blew it out again when yeah and then I, I blow it out when i get a protective style so whenever i i blow out my own hair i don't like it when um i blow dry it at the salon because i feel like one they don't have heat protectants or at least the salons i go to they don't have a heat protector and two they don't detangle my hair before they blow it out so i just see my hair flying everywhere and i'm like i'm sorry girl mama sorry you had to go through that yo i want to cry never see my hair. you guys you think you guys know that pain when you're sitting there and she's there she's and you're like girl ow ah sissy what is going on mother you can't say anything because you're there to do the hair next thing you want to complain they'll ruin your hairstyle so i got myself a blow dryer it's a really good one i actually inserted a picture of the, the, of the blow dryer that i use it's a very nice blow dryer i use it to medium medium cold medium heat i don't i don't, I don't use the hot one that's too much that's too much and i also use a heat protectant yo guys please if you want to blow dry your hair please use a heat protector because you're frying your hair girl you're gonna have heat, yo, you're gonna have heat damage and sometimes the heat damage is so bad your hair doesn't revert back guys please use a heat protector like get yourself a good heat protector and use it like don't be stingy drench your hair in that heat protector before you're gonna start applying heat a question seven I just chopped my hair and I don't know which products to use to grow for natural hair. Plug me, please. I got you. I got you. I just spoke about it. Hopefully you did notice that. Um, all those products will help you for sure. How to grow your hairline back. Okay, so I have been asked this question quite a few times. Sometimes you find that your hairline is receding. Maybe it's because of the, the protective styles. Mm, are they really protective if your hairline is receding? But sometimes it's the protective styles or just the way you take care of your hair, the tension you put on your the front of your hair. Maybe you're always you doing styles that pull your hair back. Like right now I have like a it's kinda like my hair is pulled back, but it's loose here because it's not necessary. Um but yeah, sometimes that does happen. How can you grow your hairline back or what can you use? Use the oils guys. Like every night or every second night. Just take some oil and you massage it i still do it even though i have a hairline i still do it massage the oil here 
the front of your scalp just massage it in um give your entire scalp a massage with the oil just go in take your time me time have some me time every night just it can be five minutes guys i'm not asking you need to spend two hours just get some oil on your on your hands and go in and just massage your scalp it stimulates growth it's good for your hair you're gonna feel so relaxed afterwards if you want to sleep it's so nice guys please do it and also laying laying off the bed making like making your blood flow to your head also helps with that so that's what you can do to grow your hairline back um for sure it will help wash day routine and hair porosity so uh, my wash day routine it's quite a lengthy one i can film a video on that if you guys would like to see that so if you would like to see that please comment down below or let me know like the video if you'd like to see it and then my hair porosity my hair porosity is very 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 low right yeah it's low right yeah yeah my hair porosity is low um because uh, my hair cuticles don't absorb a moisture as easily because low porosity means your hair doesn't easily allow moisture to be absorbed into your hair shaft and then if, if you don't know your hair porosity there are tests like it's supposed like how i found it was i put my took a hair strand out i put it in a cup of water and then you leave it in there for seven minutes and if it takes long to go into the water then it has low porosity and if it sinks like in the first couple of seconds or minutes then it's high porosity that means it absorbs water a lot easier than you know someone with low porosity hair um, but yeah google google if you don't know about porosity definitely google it or if you'd like to do a video about that just let me know and i can do a whole video about hair types curl patterns and porosity what took you so long this is my best friend joel procrastination honestly that's really all it was i just kept on procrastinating to film a video but now that i'm finally filming it it feels really good because i really see myself doing this long term so yeah i'm sorry guys yo and i've been saying i'm gonna film me question 11 why does my hair keep breaking girl girl so there could be multiple reasons as to why your hair is breaking i'm gonna name let me let me try go through five i think i, I think I have five do i have five might be more than five might be less than five number one is that you're not trimming your hair okay in this reason i'm gonna cover why why isn't my hair growing and why why is my hair breaking because i feel like you know they have similarities in some way so you're not trimming your hair people say like yo my hair's not growing my hair's not growing now what do i do you're not trimming your hair so if you have split ends and trust me your hair is growing hair grows guys it's what hair does like nails nails grow hair grows it grows you can't stop hair from growing it stops on its own when you're old or you know there's something wrong i don't know you're not trimming your hair your hair is growing out of the scalp but the ends they're breaking so picture this your hair is growing it's growing here's the root it's growing it's growing it's growing but these are the, the split ends so it's 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 splitting and it's breaking off as it's growing so uh, you have to you have to trim your hair so that your hair can grow healthy grow strong and it won't break off you know that was reason number one reason number two is that literally breaking your hair off while you're brushing it so you know how i said that i don't brush my hair you i don't brush it out comb it out while it's dry because then my hair's gonna break like I, ha I have like okay so right now if you can see my hair is um it's not all the way stretched if it was all the way stretched it would be pretty long pretty 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 long so if i were to go in with a comb right now and comb my hair out from the root to the tip like so my hair is gonna break off because if you saw now it took me time to stretch it out it's because my hair is clumped up it's still it's still a little bit there's still shrinkage in my hair right now so you're probably combing it out and you're breaking your hair off which isn't good and you're adding split ends to your hair i remember a uh, brief brief intermission i remember i used to go when i was still in high school i used to go into the girls bathroom 
and let's see girls like you know i see girls they have natural hair i'm like yes girl you got natural hair they have natural hair <sighs> but they'll be there they take that comb take that comb and they're there they're like yo show me my hair yo 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 show me yo 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 hey that be talking and i'm seeing hair flying <laughs> Why, why, why? She's like, no, it's not must go here. I'm like, yeah, but then like you're breaking your hair, bruh. You're, you're literally breaking your hair as you're combing it out like so. Yo, my heart hurts. And now I see it, I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. you know, when you like you want to tell someone, but you're like, you know, you don't know how they're going to take it. So I'll kind of just be like, okay, let me just let them do them. Maybe they'll learn. Or maybe, hopefully, they see this video and they're like, oh, that's what she meant because. Sometimes people don't listen to me and it's okay. Like people people learn in different ways. Um, but yeah, that's just number two, right? Three, two. You're combing your hair out, you're breaking your hair, split ends, hair is spitting away. <laughs> think you're bald, think you don't have hair, you cut it off out of frustration, you see. Yo, I said I had five five. This is number I've only done two. What oh, what what could be three? Oh yeah. Um night care. How do you care for your hair when you're sleeping? Because you can put on all the moisturizer you want during the day, on wash day. But if nighttime comes and you don't put on a bonnet, you don't tie up your hair, you just go sleep on that cotton pillow, like it's gonna absorb all the moisture. Your hair's gonna be dry. It's gonna break easily whenever you do anything. Even touching, it'll break. It'll break, sissy. So yeah, night care. Do I have five? Maybe I have four. Let's take up one more. How? Because the right way to detangle your hair, the right way, this is what all naturals do. It's either finger detangle or you use a comb or tangle teaser or a what detangling brush. You start from the ends, you ends and you work your way up. If you guys want to see me show you how to do that, tell me if you want a wash day routine, then I can do that. I can show you guys everything, like in between Alice, I'll show you everything. Um, but yeah. Okay, I only have four. Let's move on. Yo. Which is better, twisting or the three one when going to sleep? I think by the three one you meant um braiding. Uh, what what I do? Okay, what I used to do when I was going to sleep was I used to um braid it, do individual braids. But when my hair was a lot shorter and when I still didn't know as much as I do now, but now that I'm here. One, I don't have the energy to be braiding my hair at night every day before I sleep. I, I don't I don't have that energy. Two, I feel like it was putting a lot of strain on my hair. Like I should not be manipulating. I should not be manipulating my hair that much every day braiding it. And then three. I just felt like my hair just wasn't benefiting from braiding my hair or twisting it every day or every night. So what I do, you see, I have to Yeah, yeah, she give me a I'm I'm getting good ideas right now. The way I stretch my hair um at night is I use hair ties, the ones without um metal thingies. Should I get one? I'll insert a picture actually of hair ties that you can use. I use those and I work section by section. And it's it's called the 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 hair band stretching method. Um, I can film a video about that so that you guys gonna have a visual representation of what I do. But that's what I do. Um, but between the two that you asked, either braiding or twisting, I would say twisting because it's less strain on your hair. Yeah, de definitely twisting. Um, but you can braid because I do braid sometimes. The weather sometimes just isn't on your side when you have natural hair and you go outside and it's humid or it was raining and now though there's the air is just very moist and you find your hair shrinks up but your wash day is next week saturday and now it is tuesday so you need to stretch your hair out again right so what i would do is i would um take sections and then like braid it in large sections and yeah if you're trying to stretch out your hair, but you do, you do not need to be, excuse me, you don't need to be braiding your hair to bed every night. You really don't. 
that's 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 a lot of strain on your hair please don't do that um but you know what works for you works for you how long did it take to grow your hair to the length it is now and how long have you been natural for um how long did it take to grow my hair to this length so i okay uh this is my third year of being natural but then um in grade grade eight let's see okay yeah i did a timeline here so um august of grade eight of my grade eight year which was in 2017 i decided that i was not going to relax my hair anymore i was like yeah mom i'm not relaxing my hair anymore no more relaxer i didn't I, I did i since august of 2018 i have not touched relaxer on my hair at all not even a drop so um august is when i decided to not relax my hair so i transitioned from august till june of 2018 my grade nine year and then i did the big chop i cut off all the relaxed hair from my hair all of it i said bye bye toodles deuces and i cut off all my hair and then grade 10 grade 11 grade 12 which is 2019 2020 and 2021 i've been natural so i've been natural for three years but i transitioned for 10 years I transitioned for 10 months. Yo, I wish I transitioned for 10 years. Imagine how long my hair would be right now. Anyway, so I, tra I transitioned for 10 months prior to the three years that I've been natural. But yeah, so that's how long, I guess you could say, that's how long it took for my hair to reach the length it is now. Should I do a length check? Should I? Okay, I'll do it. Let's see. Let's take a section at the back. But I have my... Mm. Nah. <laughs> okay. I have a shoelace here, so it's not going to be the real length. But just to give you guys an idea of the length of my hair... I'm sorry hair. I'm sorry hair. I'm just leaving a small section. I'm so sorry. Okay, my hair is not all the way stretched right now. But this will give you an idea of where my hair is. Okay, I'll say here. Armpit length, that's where my hair oh that's where my hair is about armpit armpit length from the back. Let's just tuck you in there. Make sure you're safe. And then in the front, the shoelace is there. I don't want to undo the shoelace, guys. Just uh, estimate I think it's about like I think it reaches like here. In the front, I think so. Yeah. That's that's the length it's at right now. Moving on. Question 14. What food can I eat to make my hair grow? Or does that not matter? So diet diet does play um a role in your skin, um, blood, hair, nails. Um, I don't find myself eating certain things to promote hair growth. I know there are like um hair vitamins that people take. Um, but I don't take any vitamins to promote my hair growth. Uh, what I do do is drink like a hell lot of water. Anyone that knows. Actually, let me... mm -hmm. ooh, 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 ooh. Anyone that knows me knows how much I love water. If water was a brand, I would be an ambassador. Actually, by now, I would be an ambassador. I'm always, I'm always like, water, H2, always a way of life. Water is the way of life. It is the best drink ever. It's, it's truly amazing. So I drink a lot of water. Um, I guess I could say, you know, maybe, 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 maybe it does promote hair growth. Maybe that is, maybe that is where my hair grows so fast. Cause that's literally all I drink. You guys are with my personality. This is only the beginning. It gets bad. Mm. Okay. Um, question number 14. 
Oh, that was 14. 15. Dude, your hair grew so fast ever since you were in grade 9. Like, girl, how did it grow? How did you grow it so fast? Um, yeah, like I said, basically everything I've said up until now. What I will say for sure, consistency, patience, and... What if I use a, a third P? Consistency? No, a third, a third word. Consistency, patience, and... Having a goal. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, so with consistency, make sure you're consistent with what you're doing. Find a routine and stick to it. It might take some time for you to find like what works for your hair, but you won't know what works for your hair if you don't give your hair time to adjust to it, you know? So, yeah, consistency, patience. You have to be patient with your hair, guys. You have to be patient. In terms of it growing, in terms of you taking care of it, if wash day comes and you're here, you're rushing through it because you just want to get through it. It's such a long process and you have plans. Sassy, your hair is not going to grow. Maybe your hair will grow because it grows regardless of what you do. But you're losing out on length. Like even with when, when you... I'm so sorry. My phone stopped recording that was weird and then i had to go and make storage and i have storage there's like more than five five gigs this phone eh? this phone will be the death of me i'm if this if the positioning has changed hopefully it doesn't bother you that much i can't really see my screen because i'm recording with my phone i had to read you'll be fine you'll be fine okay you'll be okay where was i what was i even saying um, yeah, like I said, uh, consistency, patience, and having a goal. So yeah, I was saying about um, taking down your hair. When you're taking down your braids, your locks, your whatever hairstyle your hair was in before you have to take it out. Please, one, make sure there's hair, huh? Make sure there's oil on your... What's I here? I feel like I'm more forward. <laughs> make sure there's there's oil on your hands. So that you know they're slip while you're busy with your hair and then make sure you take time and don't go into your hair and you find a knot and you're there <coughs> your hair is breaking off you're literally breaking your hair off your hair is gonna break your hair is broken take your time if you find a knot if it's like a build up get a bottle with warm water and some oil some leave in maybe spray it on there and like just treat your hair like it's a baby guys your hair is your child at the end of the day if you don't take care of it who will who's gonna take care of your hair for you who has the time to be taking care of your hair on your head that's what i thought take care of your hair guys please question 16 what do you use to maintain moisture in your hair oils i use um oils as sealant 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 sealing sealants i use oil to seal the moisture in my hair go-to products how to use them efficiently my go-to products are what i spoke about before and then how to use them efficiently that's my uh wash day routine let me know if you'd like to see that video i will film it for you guys that'll be a nice video to film 18 how to deal with dry scalp so how to deal with dry scalp um learning which products work for your hair and massaging oil into your scalp deep conditioners deep conditioner will help with your scalp and with your hair um yeah use deep conditioners and then like you cover it with like uh, a plastic bag or a shower cap or i know there's these i'll insert a picture right now there's these like um hair dry cap things I want to get one those are nice you can also use that but oils massaging your scalp with oil every day or every second day should help with that question 19 how am i supposed to sleep with natural hair you cover it up with a satin scarf or you put it in a bonnet um use a satin pillowcase uh, stretch your hair uh, i recommend uh using the hairband method um or you can twist it if you have the time and the patience because you don't want to be right. Can I? 
phone stopped recording for the third time i have to speed up now because my space is finished ha ah, okay um can black people get lice this is question 20. um so i had to do research for this i had to google it actually because i don't know i'd be lying if i said i didn't know what if like the light is hmm i feel like it's not as bright maybe it's just me it's probably just me um so i had to google this because i didn't know for sure i'd be lying if i said i did so i'm going to be reading what i found out um so the centers for disease control and prevention otherwise known as cdc state that africans get head lice much less frequently than other races this may be due to the lice having to the lice having claws that grip more easily onto uncoiled hair oils like coconut tea tree um lavender eucalyptus rosemary lemongrass and peppermint oil help repel and keep the lice away from your hair which is oils that um people of color black people um africans are very prone to use wow that wait that was the last question okay and then here the last thing i said is things i think are important so trimming your hair i feel is important patience and consistency um protective styling is also important it gives your hair a break and it gives also you a break um and genetics also play a huge part in the um thickness and just overall being of your hair but that was the natural hair video okay so we're done um i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did please like and leave a comment maybe comment your favorite part of the video um if you do have any more questions feel free to comment them down below i will be responding to comments um or send me a dm whichever one uh fits well with you don't forget to share the video please guys y'all have been asking for this i'm finally giving it to you you know what i'm saying like you know what i'm saying so yeah comment like subscribe share tell your mom tell your grand tell your sister tell your brother tell your cousin tell your dog tell your cat tell your fish tell your fishes fishes dogs cats dogs sisters cousins wives daughters husband tell everyone about this video um until next time i hope you guys have a lovely um day or night depending on when you're watching this and yeah um my socials also down below so if you want to check those out uh, feel free to do so um but until next time i will see you guys later That's a wrap. That's a wrap. We finished the video. Go to now. Go to now. Go to now. Hey, hey, okay. About to film. The setup is weird, but it's fine. It's okay. Let's go. Let's edit. I'm so excited to edit.